I never thought I'd really be using the Daily Mail. It's not exactly my favourite paper in the world for a number of reasons, but since everyone's doing in the bloke on the Beckenham train and going on about the horrors of black boys stabbing people, which seems to be the running theme with that one, what they seem to have missed is this news article in it. Here we go. Warped hoax of 64 who waged six-week campaign of terror with string of bogus ISIS chemical attacks against schools, shopping centres and businesses faces lengthy jail terms. Gary Preston since letters containing white powder to 21 locations in 2013. And there's rather more to Gary's case than that. Um, a warped hoax so who waged a six-week campaign of terror with bogus chemical attacks against schools Shopping centres and businesses has been told he faced a lengthy jail term. Well, you would hope so. Gary Preston said letters containing white powder to 21 locations, causing panic and evacuation. Some of the envelopes contained threats, including, if I was you, I would hold my breath and run in the name of Allah, and was signed off with the black flag of ISIS. I'll be including a, a lovely photo of Gary that you can see here as a thumbnail. You can see Gary looks a lovely sort. You could imagine, I've got a funny feeling you were to engage Gary in chats. Yeah, the chat would be like, send them all back, or there's too many of that sort here. Might be the kind of things that might run out of Gary's mouth. I might be stereotyping Gary, but seeing as other channels feel free to stereotype everybody else, why don't we stereotype Gary? Um, however, fears that the envelopes contain ricin or another toxic surface substance turn out to be misplaced after it was found to be out of talcum powder. Not that you know that if you were getting it in the mail. You might be shitting yourself once you got that in the mail through your, your door. Emergency st services pictured on the scene at Haverhill over concerns for an individual. However... What's more interesting and more disturbing about Gary, old Gary here, is that detectives linked him to a crime from 1988 from DNA. It was only in September 2020 that Preston of Haverhill and Sussex was arrested after his DNA was taken from an unconnected incident in which he phoned a fire gave to say he had taken rice and had sheltered a sheltered housing block for over 50 families. Neighbours described how he came to the authorities' attention a few weeks late, earlier after sparking security alerts. This guy sounds like a pain in the arse, to be quite frank. Six fire crews, including a crew tasked with handling explosives of police, arrived at the scene and surrounded the scene, which was then cordoned off. He was hanging out of the window and threatening he had hand tracks. We were told by the police to stay inside, said a woman who, in, who didn't... For seven years, he didn't want to be identified. He was a dangerous man. Why was he put in an old people's complex? I don't know. Well, technically, I suppose he does count as an old person himself or a vulnerable person, given he's just been before pension age. But if you read the details of the crime he was involved in 1988, he basically assaulted a woman going to the loo and put a knife to her throat and threatened to decay it. But somehow that's kind of gone unnoticed and unmissed and missed out. Whereas instead we have every every sort of um, commentator in the world going on about the chap on the Beckenham station today. But Gary here, Gary's gone unnoticed. I think Gary needs a moment of fame. Look at Gary. Yeah, you can see Gary's a lovely sort of bloke that you'd... Love to have next to you. Love to chat to him in the in the line at Tesco's. He looks like a totally sane and normal individual there. Nothing, nothing disturbing in that thousand yard stare at all.